If you find yourself in serious danger on Lake Ontario, who will come to help? There's a good chance it'll be one of these teams, part of the Canadian Coast Guard Auxiliary. Stationed out of Pickering, Toronto, Oakville, Hamilton and Grimsby, these volunteer teams are ready to come and bring us back to safety. But in the middle of winter, when almost nobody is on the water, is anything happening? Our vessel is getting some winter maintenance. It turns out a lot. Clint Scott is with Paramarine Search and Rescue in Pickering. He says there's a flurry of activity underway right now among all the local rescue services to be ready for the new season. Since the pandemic, more people have taken up water sports and calls for help remain near record highs. We put the boat in the water in April. We take her out in November and uh, early in the season. This is where uh, we do a lot of the maintenance stuff. The crew working on this vessel here at Outer Harbor Marina in Toronto. The boat needs new engines. We didn't want something major happen during the summer season when the boat would have to be taken out of service for a significant amount of time. So the new engines, will they also help uh, be effective while out uh, on the lake? The new engines are higher in horsepower. They're more fuel efficient. So, I, I mean, I think my first question for you is kind of the obvious one. This is where the engine used to be? That's right. That's where the old engines were. We have to get them hoisted out through the top of the structure with a crane, with a large crane truck to hoist them out. Is, this, is that a door? Yes, this is a door. This removes. The pair of old engines lifted out and loaded onto a truck. They will be sold to try and recoup some of the expense of the new equipment, which will cost roughly $300,000. And when the new engines come in place, there's some customized work in order to make the engines fit into the same space. Every year that I've been here, there's been some, something going on. The team explaining winter time is the time to stay on top of issues, or like your car, they will start to pile up. And so the very first year was the painting of the vessel. We've upgraded our windows on the boat, put new wall boards, new ceiling boards, fixing up our FLIR system that's up on the roof as well. We took all of the electrical out of the boat, uh, rewired a, a lot of this here. But it's not just the hardware. Now is the time for the rescuers to get their upgrades as well. That happening at home base, in this case, Frenchman's Bay Yacht Club in Pickering. Roughly 50 volunteers accumulating 8,000 hours of training every year. Tonight, crews are gathered to look back and see what lessons should be taken into the future. We'll go through and we'll actually dissect some of the uh, more serious uh, searches that we were involved in. One other thing the group will discuss is fundraising. The entire uh, um, marine search and rescue community is, is struggling. He explains a lot of people don't know the Coast Guard Auxiliary is a registered charity operated as a not-for-profit, adding since the pandemic while calls for help are up, fundraising is down. Catch-22 situation. The new engines are expected to last about a decade. After that, the entire boat will likely need to be replaced. A price tag of about $2 million. Any help that we can get, we will happily look for. For City News, I'm David Zura.